great great recording it okay yeah so, uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome to darshna's uh, chat show this is uh, reflections with darshna and uh, uh, sorry to keep you waiting uh, we normally meet at 8 pm but uh, today uh, was a very busy schedule for me and uh, that's why we are late apologies for it and we really appreciate that you've been waiting for me today we have a guest and uh, he's a multi talented personality his name is sumit gupta and uh, he's a property surveyor he has written books and uh, more about him um, just like you i'm as excited to know more about him in this um, uh, few minutes that we are going to be here so make sure you stay logged in and uh, there are going to be some very interesting questions about property and um, which you know ev everybody is um, interested in property and we all have a lot of uh, you know some people have lot of interest in property so make sure you stay logged in uh, welcome sumit uh, to my show thank you that's not for having me here it's my pleasure to to be part of this show so uh, sumit i believe uh, you know uh, i have seen uh, such a you have such a huge profile that uh, it's hard for <laughs> me to remember but uh, you are a property surveyor you are ricks and uh, you've written uh, lots of books so tell me That's more right. about what you do because uh, i need more clarity so does the <laughs> okay. yeah so by profession i'm a property surveyor but i do lot more than what one can expect from a property surveyor so i run a surveying practice being a surveyor i am also a property investor i have like a paralegal company which also deals with uh, quite a few legal paperwork serving notice notices uh, drafting out contracts and also we source properties for our investor clients as well so uh, so like we do run like this multiple businesses uh, but it's all like everything around property even the books mostly what i've written almost 90% of my books are written on a property investment okay so yeah. what does this uh, rics mean r i c s uh, i am oh, keen to so, know what that means okay so those who have uh, first time hearing this r i c s r i c s full form is royal institution of chartered surveyor this is the world's leading institute that recognizes the professionals in property land and construction and i'm proud to say that i'm one of the r i c s registered valuer who is also into the property investment who has also got a background of chartered accountancy because i studied a finance chartered accountancy first so i'm good in finance tax planning then i studied survey so i am good in you know understanding the building from foundation to the roof and i've studied property law over i fought over hundreds of cases in court tribunal high court upper tribunal yeah i so saw your profile probably one of i'm probably one of the most multi skilled and highly educated property surveyor you usually will find in uk yeah i have seen very uh, i mean uh, you have accountancy financial knowledge plus taxation knowledge and yes. so all that combined uh, you must be leading a very busy life oh yes definitely i mean i mean this is my passion actually you know like i always had this interest right from the beginning like when i was a child my parents used to say you know i i used to love making houses with the sand and the mud and <laughs> i never thought maybe that time that was basically uh, you know my main passion was but as i started growing and then i studied finance but still i was having more interest because when i mean i worked for standard chartered and hsbc bank but it was in the mortgages so i was mostly always related to the real estate businesses and then i found property was something which is more creative than the finance itself so i thought maybe i'll study more and more so i started studying more and i've got now almost five certified qualification in real estate right um, so you know uh, i have also sometimes very busy days today like whole day i was busy you know i was uh, mm -hmm. mentoring you know i was doing mentoring today great what what was it i mean what exactly do you mentor so uh, you know uh, we have a charity a foundation and uh, uh -huh. we, uh, we have volunteers there and uh, oh, i was uh, mentoring the volunteers and uh, like oh, uh, you know it <laughs> it was like a whole day session and that's why uh, we are running normally my show is at 8 pm but 
because okay. the session continued and then there were some question answer sessions and then there were some <laughs> things so that's why i laid i'm running late uh, now i got it why <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i believe uh, you also mentor people so i would like to know and the audience would like to know uh, what do you mentor people about I mean, so basically, I, I also mentor in many fields. So mostly, like most of my businesses are also done in a way that they solve or address someone's problem. Mostly what I've noticed is people have three types of problem, either health related or finance or wealth related or their relationship issues like, you know, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, in-laws and all. So brother, sister. I normally have brother, yeah, sister. brother, sister. It could be Property anything. Property matters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Property matters. So, what I've done is I've got a this training academy, which is Property Expert Academy, Success Resources Ventures, which deals with like all of those type of things. And also I'm a volunteer of one of the charity called Art of Living. So I cover all this problem. So like we do teach people health, wealth, or relationship issues like life coaching. So, I mean, I believe, you know, in order to succeed and uh, speed your journey or like, or, you know, to grow your development faster, you need somebody to mentor you. Otherwise, you, on your own, you can still learn many things, but then it will take you longer. And the best way and the smartest people always do is, that's why you will find all the athletes, big businessmen and all, they always... I can't hear you. Yeah. Now okay. I, now I can. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, it was freezed for a minute, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, so I was just saying, just to repeat, that mostly you'll see all the athletes, sports people, or the businessmen, uh, they all have a mentor in their life because that's why they can grow much faster in their life. Right. So uh, in terms of mentoring with property, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you have a YouTube channel and uh, you're yes, quite yeah. active on it. Am I right? That's correct. Yeah. So I have a YouTube channel called Property Expert Academy. It's just like an aim to help people out, you know, especially many times people have the basic questions uh, that they want really somebody to address. So I have decided that, you know, through YouTube, whatever time I get, you know, within a week, I just make one or two video out and then I'll just publish that on our YouTube channel. So people can still see those videos in their own time or when they need help. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if uh, people want to uh, sort of uh, consult you about property, of course they can consult you. But uh, do you mentor a specific uh, about properties? Uh, yes, yeah. So this Property Expert Academy, which is a training institute, uh, we have like a various training program, like three days of, uh, you know, master class. Then we have a 12 weeks result oriented where it's like more hand holding. And then we have a uh, whole 12 months mentoring session as well that we do. So it depends on each stage. Like, so for example, if we have like a three different type of products, like DIY, which is like this books, if you see, so you can just buy any of my books, go on my YouTube channel or watch one of my you know uh, online training program so which is do it yourself and then we have a done with your service where you come into our workshop uh, these days we do live online so you join our online workshop from a comfort comfort of your home and then you learn basically with us and then we have a done for you product which is like completely hand free slow like say somebody just like to you know say sumit here is my money i just want to invest you find me a deal and then just uh, so we have those done for you services. So if somebody like to join, of course, the mentoring program, they can, uh, you know, contact our property expert academy and we'll be more than happy to help. So how amazing is that? Uh, you do it uh, ready made for you who want to, you know, you <laughs> don't have that much time or, uh, you know, <laughs> do it yeah. and also you can mm. train people. So that's beautiful. Uh, that's a really, that's why I said multi-talented. To me, it's <laughs> multi-talented. But uh, my uh, question is, uh, you know, in one of your vid uh, YouTube videos, uh, mm -hmm. I uh, saw that uh, you mentioned in the video that uh, it's not necessary that you need to have a huge finance. It's not necessary that you have to have a, a lot of money to buy property. You uh, mm -hmm. teach them how to uh, buy properties. I mean, uh, with zero finance or with very little finance. So yes, can yeah. you tell us a bit uh, more about what this is? Because uh, I'm keen to yeah. know uh, how to buy property without <laughs> uh, having that initial investment. Because I believe yeah. for buying property, you do need that certain investment. So can you yes. tell us a bit more about this? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'll discuss a little more. And then, of course, we do 
covered a lot of things in the, our workshop. But let's say some of the very uh, easy strategies which people can do. And these are not just new. They are been going on for many, many, many years. People were using it in, into various other fields like uh, purchase lease option is one of the strategy. So what you do in purchase lease option is basically uh, the option. First of all, let's understand what is option. Option is the right to buy, but no obligation. So you can tie somebody into a contract with as low as one pound. That's legally, uh, I mean, one pound is what legally required to bind any one contract. One pound, am I hearing Just it One correct? pound, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you can buy a coffee no, no, for no, no, that pound. No, you can buy right? a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so one pound is basically that, you know, down payment or whatever you say, commitment money. So that's the way like you basically, let's say for example, you come across a, a property deal, you can simply agree uh, terms of that contract or like you can agree a end date and the agreed date. So for example, let's say if a property worth half million, you can say, okay, fine, I'll buy it for half a million. And then normally what happens is like in the property business, the maximum money that we make is by solving problems. And then problem you can still solve by controlling a property. You don't really have to acquire it. Right. So now what happens, let's say you buy a property with half million and, uh, and with the half million, basically you're only putting one pound as a contract that I'll buy this half million property in, let's say two years or three years time. Now you have exchanged or, or do you, like you have done that agreement. Now within that two or three years time, you can add a lot of value. You can do extension. You can make it more, you know, appealing, uh, refurbish it to the highest standard and then maybe reconfigure the whole, you know, layout many things that can be done internally by increasing square footage, by changing the purpose of it. Let's say commercial property can be converted into residential and many things more or like or a, a single family house can be split into like HMO, five, six bedroom HMO. So once let's say that 500,000 worth, pound worth of property, maybe worth in two to three years time, seven eight, to 800, by the time you also add value, effectively speaking, then you can just simply acquire by using that, you know, the safety pot that you built in two to three years time. So you don't even need that deposit. And That's one of them. Yeah. And yeah. all this is legal and you will have the name, yes. uh, you, the, uh, uh, the property, your name will be there on the property. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So this is normally this done by through a solicitors. So you have, this is called the purchase lease option. So this gives you the right to purchase a property as a certain time at a certain price. And this is, I mean, this is also, you can register with the land registry. So which means nobody can just cheat. And then it's normally two solicitors are involved. Uh, I mean, I will always suggest because people sometimes try and save that money, but no point of, you know, just saving that small fee there, but hire professional solicitors, let the solicitor exchange the contract or like exchange the whole, you know, contract together by literally paying. I mean, physically they do transfer one pound from, uh, you know, buyer to seller. And that makes the whole contract viable. I mean, uh, uh, enforceable. And then you can register with the land registry. So if someone uh, in the audience, audience wants to have this deal with you, then you have mm -hmm. your team ready of solicitors and you will help them from the start yes. till the end to uh, complete whatever is uh, needed to do. Yes. So we have our core team, of course, since we are in property business for almost 20 years. So we have a solicitor, surveyor, a mortgage broker, accountant. So we always work together with them. So whenever we have a deal, we and also many of our students now, whoever you know we are mentoring and all they always have access to our you know power team we call them power team so this is always the you know best to have their team together yes yes that's good so i see um that um i can see a lot of books there so you uh -huh. have written a couple of books as well um yeah, i've written half a dozen of books actually half a on property half a dozen yeah <laughs> you may see three of them probably here yeah, they are also available on Amazon. Some of them are on, on other platforms. Yeah. So, so which is the best one? What would you recommend if somebody is new into this property and they want in property business? Uh, I mean, so the, this one is probably the best. Uh, this is uh, how to make money. By, I mean, the ultimate guide to property investment. Uh, this is on second edition currently uh, because this applies anywhere. So it doesn't matter whether you are in UK or elsewhere. You can still, uh, you know, use these strategies anywhere in the world. Uh, I basically explained 10 best property investment strategies that has been used by many investors and had made millions of pounds in property business using those strategies. They are very well proven. They're very well used by all the top property professionals. 
so uh, of course you know you probably guess my next question so if uh, during this covid time what do you mm -hmm. think in these times is it a good time to buy or is it good time to sell i mean is it buyers market or is it sellers market what is your advice to our audience yeah i mean so of course there are a lot of news in in the market which people are aware as well that you know there is uh, like this rxs research which was saying that you know the market is supposed to go down because i'm a rxs survey so we do get like regular update that is supposed to be 5 to 10% but having said that uh, the market what i've noticed in last couple of months uh, also in fact the market recently has shown there is a mini boom it's not huge but 0.5% above ever since lockdown and now that's one thing and then other is like uh, as you may have heard Warren Buffett saying, you know, be fearful when everybody is greedy and be greedy when everyone else is fearful. So this is the best time, you know, when people are much fearful or they're not certain what to do. This is the best time where you can make money. Even the last recession that we had in 2008 and all, uh, many companies or many property investors has made money during that time. I mean, when they started investing in, or like in that period, whatever they've invested has grown the maximum basically right, so it's always the best time i mean being a property investor i always say you know uh, whatever you say the best time is the uh, the second best time is definitely now so you should not wait for any longer get onto the property ladder as soon as possible and other thing i will also say you know there is a another thing i always say that you know property what i'm saying is from my investment point of view in my view when you buy a house for you to live in that's not as an asset in my definition, that's a liability. So any property that basically takes the money out of your pop property, or out of your pocket is a liability. So of course, if you're looking to buy as an investor, then yes, by all means, go, out, go ahead and buy it. Even if you're buying the property where you want to live in, but you had that uh, investment hat on, you have already checked the number will work well, then yeah, buy. But if you're buying with emotion that, you know, I want to live in, or like you want to buy a palace in this time, or like, you know, so do not go and spend too much money on your own, uh, you know, consumable assets. So if you, if it is your own house, then do not just try and go buy the bigger one, I would say. But of course, buy commercial properties, buy other properties, even residential one as well. But commercial are really uh, doing quite well nowadays. And there are many reasons why one should invest in commercial property. But then as long as you're buying from an investment point of view, it's always best. Right. So uh, what about, you know, uh, what about uh, selling property? I mean, uh, there are some times that people have no choice or, you know, economy is going mm -hmm. down. In December, we are having Brexit. Uh, March is the financial year okay. and expecting a lot of changes. In terms of all of this, uh, if somebody is in a situation where they have to sell, would you advise them to sell or would you advise them to wait for one or two years what 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 is your best advice yeah i would advise them to wait uh, i mean of course as long as you know they if they can hold it is always best and also i normally 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 tell people you know if they're investor uh, because i'm saying if you're yeah if you're a property uh, you know investor because if you hold it longer you hold it the more money you make because as soon as you sell there are many things like CGT in case if it is your investment property. And there are other, you know, joint venture deal you can do as well, yes, other we than sale. We, uh, we just lost you for a few seconds. Oh, is it? After yeah, sorry, I think maybe. After CGT, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I'm saying so CGT is one of the things that, you know, you may, and I mean, if you're an investor, you're selling an investment property, and if you're making a gain, you will pay capital gain tax. So that's one of the things, but then, there are many things more than just selling you can do, you know, so if you can hold, if you really have, you know, capacity to hold a property, then do hold it, not to sell. Right. And uh, in terms of, uh, you know, um, there is like, because of COVID, um, their properties are on rent and sometimes, you know, uh, there are mm -hmm. uh, landlords who have difficult tenants and because of this, right. time, they are unable to evict them. So then uh, what are the current rules? And uh, if you really have to get rid of a tenant, uh, what mm -hmm. is the procedure? If you could tell us in brief and uh, do you deal with it? Uh, yeah, I have, we have a paralegal company that deals with a tenant eviction. So mostly like you evict a tenant on two grounds, section eight and section 21. Section eight is for uh, default on rent and 
they are too much in arrears at least more than two months or eight weeks if it is a weekly tenancy or section 21 which is known as like no default uh, uh, eviction process so you can also uh, you know uh, hire one of a company paralegal which is green consultant and uh, they are very much doing this such since 21 year and eight uh, to evict the tenant but uh, because of this COVID and uh, the current mm. situation uh, uh, and the economy, people have lost jobs. So, you know, yes. uh, it's uh, really not fair to evict tenants. So what are the tenancy rights during these times? Though? Would you would you share? I mean, of course. So, yes. So it's the best time if you feel you need to assess each tenant on its own. So let's say if somebody is really living in your property for two, three, four, five years, then yeah, certainly. And then there is a genuine request you know, there's a genuine uh, uh, reason why they can't pay now. Uh, you got to work with them somehow, you know, like, and also I feel that, you know, as a property investors, we are not just uh, making money from the rental. Of course, rental is just fueling the system, but most of the money that you make it is by adding value, refinancing it, uh, which is the big, big, bigger chunk, especially, you know, when you are in London and the around surrounding area, uh, because your capital growths are the main profit that you make. And if you, as long as you can work with your tenant, like, you know, give them some time to pay, give them some compensation relief so that, you know, there is a, there is a space for breathing. If they can breathe, I mean, they have that much, you know, markup. So at some point, of course, if their intention was good, they'll definitely pay you at some point. Yeah. And also I think there are government also helping them. So, you know, the government has given a lot of people grants, some supports and all that. So I think they can always go and approach that council as well. And in many cases where they are council tenants, of course, uh, you can also approach council directly that your tenant cannot pay the money. And when they are more than 13 weeks in areas, you can demand directly to the, to the council that you know you pay us directly. So that can be possible as well. So there are a few arrangements one can make. But I would say assess each tenant on, on their own credibility. Yeah, and of course at this time, you know, if we can't show compassion or uh, kindness and yeah. that extra support to people who are in our network, then yeah. you know uh, we have uh, missed the point <laughs> of this. Uh, we haven't learned anything from COVID. At yes, least uh, that is what is my take on this. Some questions are coming in because you know I put it on my Facebook yes, sure. that uh, you're a property consultant, and oh. some questions are coming in uh, just sure. on my uh, mobile and yes. this. So the somebody is asking. For first-time landlords, um, mm -hmm. what difficulties do they face, uh, and uh, what uh, what guidance would you give them? Uh, yeah, so the first-time landlord, I would say, you know, like normally, what happens? Imagine, like I'll give you an example. Let's say, uh, you know, if you're driving a car, and you have not learned how to drive a car, so what you'll do, you'll keep crushing the other cars, and and probably hundreds of cars, and by the time you crash the hundred car, you will have that balance, you know. But then other way of doing that is you get a license, learn from someone how to drive a car. And then once you get a license, then you go out and drive. So first thing I would say, you know, to those first time investors, go out and learn the skills of how to invest in property. The education is the one of the biggest thing. Second is networking. You know, go out and find other like-minded people who are also investing in property. Uh, you know, network with them. There are many network meeting happens. Even we we are doing nowadays virtually. Every last Saturday of every month, we do a property investors meetup. So anybody, and we kept it free currently in this difficult time. So anybody can just join free. So they can also learn from other people's, you know, the things that are not going well, the things that are going well. So the things that are going well, they can do more and more in their property journey. The things that are not going well, they should stop doing those things. So it's just about that, basically education and being in the right company. So uh, my audience, uh, can they connect with you and, uh, you know, you please yes, definitely. your websites and uh, links of your books uh, so that, you know, uh, they can be in touch yes. with you. Is that uh, okay? Yeah, Thank definitely. You. Yeah, I would love to, I'd love to serve you. And of course, so uh, you can find me first on the Facebook, which is Sumit Gupta page. And a lot of links may be there. Uh, of course, what I think this you're going to put this one on Facebook, isn't it? Somewhere on, be a so, live on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, great. So what we'll do at the end, I'll send you all the links and I'll post under that uh, video itself, so people Actually, can I just tag you. So you can please uh, post whatever are your important links 
And audience, okay. please uh, connect with Sumit. Uh, we all at certain points uh, do need property advice. <laughs> and it's better it to be you know, have an expert who has uh, experience in this field. So that way we feel comfortable and uh, uh, main with property, I feel uh, you need to have that peace of mind. Otherwise, if you are constantly worried, if you make your own decisions, if you don't take the, an expert uh, advice, then you'll constantly be worried. So this is a good opportunity to uh, contact with Sumit. Uh, and other than that, uh, uh, there could be more questions, uh, which, uh, you know, uh, my uh, last time also we had a guest who was a Vedic astrologer. And a lot of people text me, a lot of people uh, sent me private messages mm -hmm. on Facebook. A lot of people put comments on the video. So as usual, if you have any more questions, uh, Sumit is available. I have tagged him. You can ask him directly or uh, you can ask me directly and uh, I'll go, go and make sure that uh, we reach out to all of you in reasonable time and answer your questions. And uh, Sumit, uh, lovely talking to you. It was my pleasure as well, Desna, to have on this, you know, your show. And uh, uh, I'll, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll be happy to help anyone if they need. We'll drop our in emails. You can go on our YouTube channel. You can find my Facebook groups. You can, of course, find a lot of support on our Facebook groups. And by all means, if you need anything, do drop me a message or email. So uh, thank you, Sumit. It was a wonderful conversation. And uh, uh, thank you, audience, for being with me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my chat shows. Uh, and this was supposed to be for only seven Sundays. Uh, but a lot of you have requested to be a guest on my show. So I'm truly, truly honored and I'm pleased to inform you that I'm fully booked till November and then more bookings are in the process. So uh, Sunday, 8 p.m. we meet uh, every Sunday and uh, different guests every time. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for this show, please get in touch with me. Please share this video so that more uh, people can uh, get information about property and uh, do uh, subscribe to my youtube channel as well and uh, stay in touch stay safe we meet again uh, next sunday and we have a wonderful guest his name is marcel and he's a meditation teacher as probably a lot of you know meditation is very close to my heart i love to meditate if i don't meditate i don't eat and i'm sure all of you are uh, doing meditation as well so please continue um, being safe, being healthy, meditating. And uh, next week, uh, we welcome Marcel. Please join me next Sunday, 8 p.m. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you for being with me. It's always a pleasure to connect with you. Take care. Bye now. Bye. Bye, Sumit. Bye. Bye, Bye, Darshna. Bye, everyone.